phantom-like sounds that a person can hear. Some is talking, some footsteps, and some screams. However, there are some ghosts that rather fill your eardrums with something a little bit more enjoyable. Some music, perhaps? Find out more from this lovely barmaid about the ghost of Fiddler's Rock. Tales for you fancy types. Snake charmer. It's up to you, fella, but you be having some bad luck. One snake charmer for the gentleman. That's clearly not from around here. Now, come on. Only men that want to ask trouble from the devil himself ask for the snake charmer. Now, that was Marty Stone's poison. That's what that drink was. Now, surely you've heard of him. You must have traveled far. Martin Stone was only about the most famous fiddler you could find around these parts. Everybody wanted him to play at their functions, let me tell you. Marriages, funerals. Everybody loved the sound of his fiddle. But Marty demanded that he always get his Sundays off. Because on Sundays was when he would scuttle on up to Mount Stone. He would practice his fiddling all day long up there. But one Sunday, when Marty was fiddling away up on his rock, a rattlesnake came out of its hiding place. Now, Marty was going to be small and run away. But then he realized something strange about the snake. The snake wasn't about to attack him. <laughs> In fact, it seemed to be dancing to his music. He seemed almost mesmerized by his music. So Marty kept on playing his fiddle, and snake after snake came slipping out of their holes, and soon there was about a dozen of them all swaying to his music. And so Marty decided to take out his shotgun and shoot every single one of those snakes. He took them home and skinned them, and he sold them for a pretty penny. And so Marty went back to that same spot every Sunday after that. He would play his fiddle and shoot all the snakes he could carry. Until finally he went up there one Sunday. And never came back. At first everything seemed normal. Marty was fiddling his fiddle. And those snakes were coming out of their holes. But something was different about those snakes that day. They weren't swaying like they were before. Instead, they were sitting, watching, until finally, before Marty could even scream, they attacked. And they killed Marty Stone that day for all the damage he had done. Now, they say if you go up Stone Mountain, you can hear Marty's fiddle as clearly as the day he started. But I wouldn't advise going to the spot he would lure the snakes out. Because those rattlers, they still remember what Marty had done. And they don't tolerate no human being in their territory. You've been warned, stranger. 